How you guys doing? This is our sidecast with Kristen, Steve, and me, Chris. What and uh, we're here to discuss stuff and things. And stuff. And things. And things and stuff. <laughs> and dog meat. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's later. I'm oh, sorry. That's later. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We're talking about dog meat later. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. All right. So we're talking about Black Tusk changing their name. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard anything about this. Just real briefly, actually. <clears throat> actually, heard it while I, or heard about it while I was watching uh, Co Carnage's stream, mm. and uh, his fan base is called the Coalition. Oh wow! Oh. So he he got that. I'm gonna see if somebody look in his eye for oh a second. Oh my gosh! <laughs> but uh, he spells it differently. Yeah. So Black Tusk. Uh, Head of studio, Rod Ferguson, who used to be head of studio at, or I don't know if he's head of studio, but he was big wig over at uh, Epic, and uh, you know he started the the Gears of War series with with Cliff Blazinski. Um, yeah, he did like a I guess his uh, Rod cast, which he hasn't done in a while. Yesterday, and uh, he announced that they're changing their name to the Coalition. Um, he said it, you know, it basically. A coalition is a group of a diverse group of individuals working for like a common purpose, um, and he feels that that fits the studio and and their goals. And he was like, you know, when people hear three four three industries, they they automatically know Halo. When people hear you know uh, take ten or turn ten, turn ten, yeah. <laughs> I don't play Forza, so <laughs> when they hear turn ten, they know Forza. Um, so that's what the Rockstar philosophy GTA. is behind yeah, yeah behind exactly. the coalition. You know, you hear coalition, you you think of their games, um, which is funny because you know right now they're they're developing Gears of War, but he he mentioned that they want to be known for their games. So I'm I'm curious as to what they're going to be announcing at E3. Well, that's what, yeah, well, that's what I'm wondering too. Because <laughs> going into coalition, yeah, it ties into Gears, mm -hmm. but it's like, is that the name that they want to be tied into? And yeah, how long are they going to be running Gears of War? Um, I mean, are they planning on getting into different IPs and stuff like that? So well, I'm sure they are. I mean, there's not. I mean, there's not that many one trick pony companies out there, but. <laughs> I mean, there are, face, but though. they also try to do other things, whether they succeed or not. I guess that makes enough sense. I mean, I had no idea who Black Tusk was, so um, uh, maybe Coalition will stick out more. At least, you know, to me, I didn't. Like I said, I don't know who the, they were. <laughs> well, now you know. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I think it's I think it's cool. Um, you know, more power to them. I know. What do we expect from Gears of War? We played. Judgment. Did you get to play Judgment, Steve? I played the first game for two or three hours, and that was. Oh wait, it. so the first Gears of War. Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know because Judgment wasn't even done by the same team. So right, that's true. I, I still enjoyed it. Yeah, but, it was a lot of fun. I mean, um, what would we expect from new Gears of War games coming? I want. Out? Gr well, I'm not a graphics whore, but uh, graphically, I want it to blow me away the way the first one did when it came out. At the time, those graphics were amazing. Oh, yeah. Especially for console. I mean, it was one of the first games that I saw for, <laughs> like, Xbox 360. Yeah, that grit. <laughs> uh, Graphics-wise, it was gorgeous. Um, I did talk to a couple of, like, friends of mine at work, and they're saying that they would like to see something different with maybe, like, the cover system. Um, yeah, the snap I to cover. I mean, I felt a little spoiled by it a little bit. Yeah. Um, you know, and then transitioning into other shooters, like, expecting that, <laughs> that system. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like that's, like, their thing. I don't know how else to really change or add to it. I'd, I'd like the characters to be a little more realistic, not these super beefed up guys. But then again, that's also kind of their thing now, too. Yeah. Like, is the cartoony realism of the characters. Uh, I heard a rumor <laughs> that when Windows 10 comes to Xbox One, there would be keyboard and mouse support, so maybe I'll play it. Right on. Yeah, yeah I heard that too. Yeah. Uh, I'm not, a, in general, a big fan of third-person shooter games, so mm. uh, I'm, I'm more first-person. So I did like the cover system when I was playing with it, and uh, the variety of like melee attacks and stuff was pretty cool. Uh, I actually wasn't too into the chainsaw thing on the gun, which <laughs> I know is like, the staple yeah. of Gears. 
Uh, but I also didn't think the Titans were cool in Titanfall. So. Ooh. <laughs> uh. Well, that's the other thing too. Like the the when the when the first Gears of War came out, the the chainsaw thing was like huge. Like people were like, "Oh my God, you can chainsaw people in half and yeah. this and that." And now it's it's so. Like when you say that to someone nowadays, it's like so mundane and just like people huh, are. Just, that's it. It's been done. Yeah. yeah. So I'm wondering if they're gonna try and just outdo themselves and go like the Mortal Kombat X route and just be ridiculous with the the gore or <laughs> X-ray finish. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Or like just how like what route they're gonna take it. But I don't know. I'm excited and I'm I'm happy for the the team because they're they seem to be doing well and and happy with the name change. Yeah, looking forward to it. Good luck, Coalition. <laughs> <laughs> the Coalition. Good luck, The Coalition. Well, how about that Uncharted 4 box art? What about it? <laughs> Yay. <laughs> it's the same art that we've seen <laughs> since they announced it. It's good art. Yeah, it's, it's cool. a nice picture. Like, it's, a good, it's a good cover, but it's nothing new. It's. I, I gather from this picture that the game is going to be about Nathan Drake. He's going to be in some kind of jungle environment. Mm-hmm. Guns will be involved. He's a little disheveled. He's a little bit disheveled. He's probably been in the jungle for a few days, possibly running. A few gunfights. Climbing. Parkouring. Yep. It's on PlayStation 4. It Only is. on PlayStation 4. That's, that's, yeah, PlayStation 4. I have one um, of those. Nolan North. Nolan is, North uh, is coming yeah. back to voice, to voice Nathan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's a good cover. It's a good cover. It's just... I don't know when they when when you release cover art. I don't know. I just expect more, like something different. Something from different. The something, spoiler. I, I don't know. I guess it could have been a little bit worse. They could have done like the Max Payne thing, where it's like completely black with like the white halo. Oh yeah. Thing oh it. yeah. Or sorry, not Max Payne, Punisher. Oh okay, yeah. Oh, okay. And he has like an aura so. around him. Yeah. The end. Which I guess yeah. that background could technically be like the aura, the light around him and stuff. Well, I guess yeah. from an artistic standpoint that just that blue hue like that background I was like that's kind of plain but then it's like a really cold kind of background there's not much to it like oh yeah no I, I expect the story to be a little darker yeah very um especially after three <laughs> no spoilers or anything but after three kind of set the tone for for a different route that the characters are taking and I actually can't remember the end of three at all I played three. those games like, well without without spoiling ago. anything three like dove a lot into Nathan Drake's past and, like, his relationship with Sully. Mm. Yeah. Um, so that I, I really appreciated that. Two is still my favorite. But, oh, two is awesome. But three's story was really interesting. But, yeah, where they're going to go with this one, who knows? His brother, supposedly, is in it. Oh. Has, they share the same last name, but well, yeah. that could mean anything. Could be cousins. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Overall, from, it's a good cover. From the title, I'm guessing it where it's going is the end. Well, yes. Well, yeah, is, a lot is, of people are, are guessing he's going to die in this one, or... I, I was actually going to ask, is this, like, confirmed the last game or whatever? Or... Oh, <laughs> that'll be decided depending on sales. <laughs> uh, <fair enough. laughs> actually, I mean, if any company was uh, going to go the route of, like, ending a story when it needs to end as opposed to just, like, following the money, I would guess Naughty Dog. No, yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty good. Like... That. They don't seem like they're money-hungry... Uh, like, like if if they were they probably wouldn't release exclusively on PS4. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, even if they end like say on this one, if they want to continue the franchise, I mean, who's to say that they can't pick up with a new character? I mean, yeah. granted that yeah. new character is going to have a really, you know, big shoes, big shoes to, fill, to fill, yeah. But I mean, it's such a good franchise. <laughs> the overall. new character is also voiced by Nathan <laughs> or <laughs> Nolan, Nolan North. <laughs> Um, and if but anything yeah. else, uh, they proved with The Last of Us that, like, they can do more than Nathan Drake. Oh, yeah. 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 They, they don't have to do anything related to weird, like, treasure hunting mm -hmm. business, Indiana Jones-esque <laughs> things. Yeah. They did Tomb Raider better than Tomb Raider. Right? Ooh. Yeah. Well, and the new looking. Tomb Raider is really Shh, good. Ooh. Amanda, I hope uh, Amanda's not listening <laughs> to this fine. right now. <laughs> yeah, uh, so also in Uncharted news, I guess the... Uh, the Nathan Drake collection was just announced. I'm pretty stoked about that because I traded in my <laughs> copies of Uncharted. Oh, and apparently it comes with the Uncharted 4 beta for multiplayer Ooh. access. That'll be awesome. It'll be available October 7th in Europe, October 9th in the U.S. Nice. 
Only a single player campaigns of the titles will be available. No multiplayer. I, I kind of wanted to see the mention of the interactive novel of Golden Company. Or, no, <laughs> what is it called? The Vita game. Yeah. Uh, that game was fun. I enjoyed it. Golden Abyss? I'm zoning out right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's the only game I had for Vita, and I actually <laughs> never played it, really. Like, I, I did one of the charcoal rubbing things, and I was just like, you know. That game was fun. I know it was Golden something. Yeah. <laughs> Golden Abyss. Abyss. I was right. right. Yeah, you're right. Golden Abyss. You guys should listen to me. Yeah, I'm excited. I mean, there's not much to say. I mean, I don't see that it says it's going to be like upscaled or anything like that. It doesn't really need to be. Yeah. Eh, yeah. I'll replay them as is. Honestly, yeah. they could have just announced that they're going to release or uh, release a digital copy that'll work on the PS4, and I would have been happy. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. that would have been great. If it's if I mean if they price it at sixty bucks, which I'm assuming they're going to, that's a great deal. Yeah. Regardless. That's not at all. Three. Games, yeah, 60 bucks. Yeah, yeah. yeah, good stuff. I would buy that. <laughs> I probably will buy that. Yeah, <laughs> you will. Buy no, that. probably. <laughs> yeah. 